Well, howdy everyone, Cowie Rabbit Sim Racer here. It is, I think it's week it 10. It is 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, for our racing season two, 2024. Um, and we are at a new track, um, Algarve International Circuit, also known as Portimao. And it's actually a uh, pretty cool track uh, to race on. Um, uh, it is one of those tracks that promotes quite a bit of uh, uh, action on track. And there's some sort of floaty areas that you can get wrong. And uh, but um, you know, we raced here in the league race uh, last week, or a couple of races, and um, there was lots of battles on track. So hopefully the officials this week are also the same. Now apologies for the lack of videos of recent times. I was going to start recording. Or I was going to try and stream. Uh, the new season of SRW, but I had some technical issues, so that's made it a little bit difficult. So, um, but I've got everything sorted so I could get out at least a track guide for you guys for this new circuit. And as I said, that's uh, quite a fun one, but at the moment, the, I've been pretty busy on the weekends with the music, um, you know, uh, enjoying it and uh, having some fun. Gets a good traction with my duo. But, all right, it's 31 degrees on track, so it's about the same sort of temps we were dealing with in our league race. So, interesting to see if it, yeah, the temperature climbs up again. All right, well, coming round to the back section of the lap here. Now you really do want to try and get good flow through here. Now, I'm finding I'm lifting and I'm sort of staying close to the curbing. So you can get back on and full acceleration as soon as you come out of uh, that final corner. Car will want to slide, but you can roll with it. But just be careful in a league race or in a race because you'll burn up those tyres. But breaking about where that white line is on the left, back to third. You're trail breaking deep into the corner so you can get back on the gas. Short shifting to fourth. And pretty much as soon as you get the car straight, you're going back to first, you can get it tucked in, short shift to second, try and get a good run out here, you want to try and half throttle, and then get back on as smooth as you can, the car will want to float, again here we're breaking about where that white line is, back to second, back to first to get it turned in, and really trying to accelerate hard, and get a good exit out of there, alright coming up here we're breaking, I think it's about a car length inside the curbing, back to third, floating out wide, and then again back to second. This is another corner, it's easy to go wide, and the car really wants to get light as you come up over the hill. All right, this is a difficult corner also. Half throttle, now you wanna break just before you hit the crest of the hill. Back to, oh, back to second, not first, sorry. But again, it's a really hard corner to judge and very easy to shoot long. Here, again, breaking better. Get the car straighted. Back to first to get it to turn in. And here, red lining it in second. And again, you're looking for a big exit here. Almost double apexing this corner. The car will want to get light in the rear again and dance on you. Right, again, okay, and as I said, just lifting. As we get to it, trying to get back on, we got a little bit wide there, but we can still get on the gas and get around. All right. Not a particularly quick work that one. 48, I think the guys were doing 47, maybe 46s. Let's push that braking zone a little bit more. Get on the gas a bit harder. We're right on the edge of track limits there. Going a little bit harder. Try and carry a bit more speed. Already a couple of tenths up, being a little bit more aggressive there. I tried to get a short shift on exit there, but it gave up about half a tenth. So it just might be something to think about there. Flow through this corner quite heavy. 
again, got a lot to understeer there. I went wide, got enough track. And that cost me a bit of time. This is one of the, this is probably the trickiest corner. If you go too deep, you really want to try and sweep and carry some good speed around that corner, but it's really easy to run wide there, get it wrong. It's a bit of a blind corner. And same here, it's easy to go deep. I've had to go back to first there to get it to turn in. But you can see already, even though we sort of made a little mistake there, we're, we're almost half a second up on the previous lap. Maybe a bit of brake this time just to get the car to stay in that groove. No, again, we just slid a bit wide again. So there's probably another tenth or two there. We should be down probably in the 46s. Oh, 47s, 46s in this seat, I would think. Again, it's a downhill braking zone there, so it is easy to lock up. And then you've got this big hairpin. Car turn in. Went a little bit deep then. As usual, I'll try and bring this around and show you the pit entry. It's not a particularly hard one here at Portimao, but it is um, easy to shoot it if you don't practice it. So I always recommend you practice um, coming into um, the pits, because it will, you know, it's one of those spots that could cost you seconds and maybe even 40 seconds if you get it wrong and, and get a drive through. A little bit light there the car getting oh, we've got a bit better run through that corner that time but again the car did bog down a little bit on me here I'll go a little bit deep here to show you how bad this is all right and you can get really caught out miss the apex and, and I didn't get that wrong by much but it cost me about three tenths there Try and stay in second this time. Got a better exit. But again, you can sort of maybe make a half move there and get up the inside of someone. As far as moves goes, this track is fairly fluent. All right, so come around where the pits are. They're over on the right over here. And we're looking to brake as soon as the car crosses the line. And I think we just snuck under it. Yeah, it didn't break quite hard enough. But yeah, so as soon as that car crosses the white line there on the entry, that's where you're looking to break. All right, guys, with a quick look at Portimao, I think the quick guys were getting down into the 43s. I really should have been doing 46s, so again, this is on a uh, full uh, fuel setup for a race. And yeah, I think 46s, 47s is where the race pace was sitting in our league race the other week. Alrighty, guys, well, I hope the track guides help, of course. If they are, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. But there's a quick look at Algarve International Circuit or Portimao. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.